loves birds, and I'm no exception. They're beautiful, graceful, and most of them can do something we can't. They can fly. Missouri has 398 different species, different types of birds. What an incredible diversity of avian life we have right here in Missouri. One of my favorite types of birds are called raptors, birds of prey. Today, we're visiting the Raptor Rehabilitation Project in Columbia. That's where injured birds of prey are given a new lease on life, another chance to live out their lives in the wild. It's run as a part of the veterinary school at the University of Missouri. Vet students have the opportunity to learn about these special creatures and have the opportunity to teach others about them as well. And every once in a while, there's a special day when one of these amazing birds is able to return to their homes in the wild. Have you ever wondered what it might be like to work with an eagle, a hawk, or an owl? Well, Kristen Chafin knows. She's been working with the birds at the Raptor Rehabilitation Project, and she's offered us a tour. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, you guys, we have a bunch of hungry birds out there, and we have 13 birds that live here with us, so we have to feed them every day. And you guys know what we feed them, don't you? Mice. Right. Out in the wild, they'd eat all kinds of stuff, but here we have a big supply of little white lab mice, so that's what they eat here. So you guys are gonna help us get some mice out for them. You ready? Okay, who wants to grab some mice? You can go first. Okay, well, we'll get a few here. So we'll get some mice out. Here you go, there's a mice for you. <laughs> you want a mouse? That's a small mouse, there you go. <laughs> Boy, the birds are gonna love you. They're not gonna eat it out of your hand, you're gonna put it on their perch and then they'll eat it when they're ready for it. So these are the mews, and these are where all the birds live, and each bird has its own little area where it gets to live. We have three missions to educate the public about raptors and what they are, and especially kids, and to educate ourselves as vet students and to learn more as much as we can about raptors and about wild animals. And also our primary mission is to rehabilitate and release uh, animals back into the wild. Samson's a red-tailed hawk, and you might notice that Samson only has one wing. So she's been here with us for a long time, and she just lives with one wing, and she does pretty well. So we're going to put her mouse on her perch like this, and sometimes if she's real hungry, she'll come down and get that. But I don't think she's going to today. She doesn't really want to eat with an audience today, so she's probably going to eat the minute we walk out of here. You guys want to go to the next one? Go on in there and see if you can find him. He's got a little birdhouse here inside. Here's Storm. You guys want to see him? Here you go, you can hand it to me. And we'll put his mouse up there. He was pretty excited about that. So you guys can see that uh, feeding 13 birds is kind of a big job every day. Yep. They're each housed in what we call the muse. It's a word from falconry days that just means the area, like a shed, that houses the bird. Um, so then we have the bigger areas that are the flight cages, and those are either reserved for the big birds that are gonna be here for a while, or we put the raptors from the hospital that are getting better into a flight cage, and that's where we see if they can fly. You're a hungry bird, aren't you, Squiggy? Squiggy was one that came to us when she was a baby bird. She came, was brought in to us by somebody because she was injured and she fell out of a nest. And so she kind of learned how to be a bird from uh, one of our other birds here that was a foster to her. The feeding is a big job, as you can see. We try to keep them in a certain weight range because it's good for their overall health and they feel better and they act better. Every day, you know, you kind of go in and check on how they're doing and we weigh out their bites and make sure that they're getting the right amount. And it gives you a chance to go in and check on them every day. I've never really thought I'd get to pick up a mouse before and feed it. It was really disgusting. I didn't want to pick it up. 
just little white science mice. They kind of just pick it up with their feet and stick their mouth down and eat it. It looks kind of spooky and at first, but then once you get used to it, it doesn't seem to spook you out that much. It's a whole lot of fun. I mean, getting to interact with kids is fun. Getting to interact with the animals is fun. It's an experience that I hadn't had before I came here.